Hi everyone, I'm Mike, and today we're in Melbourne, Florida, a place where I used to live. I actually went to college here in Melbourne, Florida. I'm gonna show you this home behind me. This home is a three bedroom, three and a half bath home with 3,378 square feet. And we're in this beautiful community called Casabella. Now, if you want a home like this, the base price on it is $960,000. And that's the time of shooting. We're February 23rd right now, 2021. It is 80 degrees here, beautiful sunny day here in Florida, a little bit windy. Um, and if you want a home just like this one here behind me with what you see with the pool and all the upgrades, you're looking at about 1.2 million in this neighborhood with the lot and everything included. So let's go ahead and look at the home first before we go in we're gonna look at the outside of the home and the outside of the home the first thing we notice is the driveway we have these nice pavers coming into the home and we have this three-car garage over here and then some of the other nice uh, architectural uh, designs on this home that we'll see is we'll see this nice gray stone it's a really smooth stone and then also we have the white color paint and then also like a beige wood um, paneling there before we get to the actual slate roof which is a really good quality roof also you'll see some architectural designs they have this metal framing over the actual window over here and they also have metal framing over here going into the entrance along with these pillars of the same really smooth um, stone going up the actual columns here. Now we come here to the entrance and the first thing I wanna do is I wanna look up. When I look up, I see this nice wood paneling ceiling there, which is a really nice touch that you get in these nice luxury homes. So let's go ahead and go inside and show you the rest of the home. All right, so welcome to the entry of this absolutely beautiful home. Now, when I'm here in the entry, the first thing I notice is that it's very wide, it's a nice wide entry, and they've done some really good design features here. Over here on the right, they have a full length mirror going all the way up with some nice wood trim around it. And then if I look up above me, we see we have a tray ceiling with LED lights and also the chandelier uh, coming down right above my head here. So let's go ahead and continue the tour and go this direction here. We'll go this direction and show you the actual family room. So check out this family room. It's an absolutely amazing family room. Uh, we have this uh, wall here that's a center wall with this nice ceramic tile going all the way up to the ceiling. It really gives a good feel to the thing. And then also this built-in fireplace. Look at this. It's a really, really long fireplace. It's probably about you know, seven feet long or so. So really good atmosphere here. Also the TV. Well, when I'm in this room, the first, the other thing I do is I look up and in this whole great area from the kitchen all the way over to the family room, what I do notice is that we have this ceiling and the ceiling has this design in it that really makes the actual home stand out when you enter the home. And of course it goes out through the sliding glass doors to the pool and also a nice water view. So let's go ahead and continue the tour. We'll go down this way here, look at some of the bedrooms first. So as we go down here, uh, the first thing we have here, the office. So we have Miss Simpson here. So uh, she is the sales rep here that helps anyone that comes in. So this will be an office area. It could be possibly used as a bedroom too. There, it looks like there is a closet there. And then we also have a door going outside, which is really neat as well. If we go this direction here, um, we now have two bedrooms. We have bedroom number two. So we go over here, I'll show you bedroom number two. And this one here faces obviously the front of the home. It also has its own bathroom. So it's en suite with a bathroom. Now that bathroom can also be uh, reached through here. So if I come this direction here, we can go into this bathroom. Now this bathroom, looking at this bathroom, some features of this bathroom, it's got the same sort of uh, ceramic tile floor that we see throughout. We also have this uh, nice countertop here with that black, white, and gray that we do see a lot with Christopher Burton Holmes. It's a really pretty um, countertop. We have the framed mirror and also light fixture. And then over on the tub, we see that this is an actual tub, not a shower. It even it has a shower as well, but it also can be used as a tub. And then we have the nice ceramic tile and then also the designer tile here that actually has a little insert where you can put your shampoos and things up here. So that's a pretty useful design. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up a little bit and we're gonna go over here and this will be bedroom number three. And here we have bedroom number three. Got a pretty interesting picture of some stairs. It looks like a lighthouse. Reminds me of a lighthouse back in Bermuda, uh, Gibbs Hill Lighthouse, where you can walk up a whole bunch of stairs to get there. But anyway, we're talking about the room. The room's also a very similar size to the other one. It has a closet over here, and then also has another full bathroom over here that can also be uh, gotten from the, the outside of the home, the outside of the room right here. So you can come in this direction here and come into this specific uh, bathroom, or you can come in through the bedroom. There's a door right here, it's a pocket door. 
Now looking at this specific, um, looking at this specific bathroom, what we'll notice is we'll have the same sort of countertop, same mirror, a little bit different light fixture there. I sort of like this one a little bit better than the other one. And then this one here is an actual shower. We have the frameless shower, and then we also have the tile up through. I like the tile. The tile actually in here looks like it's actual fabric, but it's actually a ceramic tile with some really nice designs going on here through it. It's a really cool looking design. So that's this bathroom. So now we've seen the two bedrooms and two bathrooms, and also we've seen the study. Now, if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit the like on YouTube and it helps the algorithms get other people to see this and also subscribe to our channel. So let's go over and go this direction here and show you my favorite part of the home, which is the kitchen area, which is right over here. Now, even before we get to the kitchen, check this out. This is really, really neat. We have this countertop here, which is a nice white countertop. And then we have this display cabinet here. So you can actually display all your china and wine glasses here for people to see, which is really neat. And it goes around also to this side. You also have the display here, it has the LED lighting to get you plenty of light. Then on the other side over here, we have a 360 bottle wine uh, cabinet area. And I know it's 360 because I counted them. So 360 wine bottles will actually fit into that storage area there. And then we come into this kitchen this is a gas community. So we have a five burner gas stove here, stove top. We have a range down here, uh, all high end appliances. And then also we have the vent going out. The backsplash is a beautiful black splash. It's like white and grays, but it has a little bit of blues going on in it as well. We have a built in refrigerator and also cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling. On this side, we have a farmhouse sink, stainless steel. Then we also have a Fisher and pa Paki, Pakel, Pakel, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's an actual dishwasher with a, it's really cool. I've never seen a dishwasher like this where you have actually drawers that, that pull out to um, do all your dishes here. And then you also have a drawer down there for more dishes. Really high quality dishwasher there. And then of course we have the microwave here um, to do all your microwaving. Also very high-end microwave. Christopher Burton, they do do high-end um, appliances throughout and high, uh, very good quality materials when they build their homes. So let's go ahead and go this direction here. Now, first of all, let me close this first to show you. So if you're looking at this from the other way, it looks like this is just a cabinet, but actually if you just push right here, it actually opens up into a nice pantry. So this is the pantry. We do have built-in cabinets here. So as you can see, and it does have the soft clothes. We have more storage here. And then of course the pantry area here, plenty of storage for all your, all your dry, dry goods supplies for your food and things like that. Pastas, whatever you may like to eat, you can put right there in the pantry and it's all hidden right behind this door. As you can see here, don't want to close all the way because it doesn't look like it has a handle on the inside. So don't want to get stuck in there. That wouldn't be good. All right, so let's go ahead and walk over to the other side of the home um, and see what's there before we hit the primary bedroom and also the outside area. So here is like a separate little living area here. It's pretty neat. It has these double French doors here as you come in. So as you see, you can have the, all the privacy you want or you can open it up. So, and then come into this little area. It can be used whatever you want. This is Jonathan, by the way, and Juliana. Um, if you are interested in watching these videos in Spanish, I'll put a link below. Um, they both do uh, Spanish videos for our Spanish channels on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok and all the other fun stuff. So I'll make sure I'll link their information down there if you prefer to watch this stuff in Spanish. And then over here, we have built-ins here. So um, my daughter, who's actually behind the camera, uh, she said that this will be the room that she wants because she's actually can have her own little like studio apartment here. So you have your own little kitchen and then you can have like a day bed or uh, one of those Murphy beds over here and a living room area. And then you have your door going out so you can come out and go on your own. The only problem with it is that this specific bathroom over here is only a half bath. So coming over here, you see this half bath. Um, this bathroom does have some nice tile work all the way up to the ceiling. It's like a black tile. And then also the sink right here. So you need to add a shower, which this is a custom builder. So you could probably add a shower to this room if you wanted to, to make this like a separate living area. It also has a sliding glass door that goes out to the summer kitchen and the pool area. And of course the beautiful view out there. So come on and follow me. We'll continue the tour. Let's go this direction here and see if we can get out 
onto the patio. There we go, we open it up, opened up nice and easy. And everything you notice, everything with this uh, builder is very heavy duty and solid compared to some of the production builders. So that's something to really notice as well. So we come up here, we have some nice pavers. Another thing I do is I look up, I see we have the wood paneling ceiling as well with, with actual speakers out here. So you can listen to whatever music you like as you're out here enjoying the beautiful Florida weather. That I mentioned is like 80 degrees today in February. So if you're up north, um, I'm sure they're, doing, they're having some major snowstorms up north right now. And in Texas, they're, they're, they're getting snow too. So, and then here we go, we have the granite countertops, nice little summer kitchen, barbecue, it's vented out. So all, that, all, the, all the aromas of the smell will go out and be vented out. And then of course we have a pool here where you can go in and you can enjoy and cool off. And then, you know, look at this beautiful view out here. Absolutely beautiful. Florida living at its best. So let's go ahead and go back inside and show you the primary bedroom, which is over this direction here. So go back here and go this direction. Now, before we go into the primary bedroom, here is the dining room. It's actually set up for six people right now. It's got a really, really cool chandelier. It's sort of like, you know, modern artsy. It's got like the little uh, pieces don't meet each other. So it has a pretty cool little uh, look to it. I actually like that LED lighting on that as well. Um, and then let's go ahead and go into the primary bedroom right here. So the primary bedroom, if I look first, the floor, the floor is actually engineered hardwood. Uh, so it's really nice flooring here. And then we also above us, we have the tray ceiling of LED lights, some nice recessed lights as well. And of course we have the king size bed here. On the wall, we have some nice wood paneling that gives a good uh, dimension to the actual room. All these little things do add to the room and make it really feel like a home. Then over here, we have the barnyard, barnyard door, which you can open and close going into the primary bedroom. And then if we go this direction here, we have our primary bathroom. So coming in here, uh, we do have a linen closet over here to the right. Plenty of space for all your towels. On the other side, on your left, would be the actual water closet. It also has a pocket door. And then coming back this direction here, we have our dual sinks. And these sinks are huge. They're like a typical sinks about that big. This one's like got this extra space on very wide sinks here. Um, and then you have all our nice cabinets. We have our makeup area here where you can sit and do the makeup. And then also another very wide sink over here. On the other side, we have the tub, which is a standalone tub. Um, and then of course you have the natural light coming in from the window. And then we have our frameless shower. Um, and then the shower also has some nice tile work and also some tile work on the actual shower going up to give it a nice look. So going the following direction, we do have a big mirror here. So, and then on this side, we have this closet here. So very, very spacious on this side, as you can see, lots of built-ins. And then we actually have a dual closet area over here. We're on this area here. You also have that same sort of space, lots of built-ins here as well. So plenty of, plenty of space here. Um, the only thing that we haven't seen yet is the laundry room, which is pretty cool. So we definitely have to see that and also the three car garage. So go ahead and follow me and we'll go over there real quick. And again, if you are looking to buy or sell anywhere in the central Florida or, or anywhere in the Florida area, uh, give, you know, give us a call. We'll get you in touch with the correct realtor in the area that you're looking for. And if you just like looking at homes, make sure you like the video and follow our channel for the newest and latest uh, homes that come available. So let's go back through this kitchen and then go over here, this direction here, the whole hallway we missed. And we come through this door here and check out this laundry room. It was worth waiting, wasn't it? Worth waiting for seeing this. So thank you for watching this video all the way through. But this is a laundry room. It's as big as a bedroom. Plenty of uh, storage, plenty of cabinetry. The washer and dryer will go here. We have the actual sink here, beautiful countertops. And then it comes into the three car garage here. And this three car garage is an oversized garage. We have one, two, three bays here, but we also have a bay over here. So this is possibly for a small sports car or a golf cart. And then you have your regular um, cars over here. So that's this home. I wanna thank you all for watching. Make sure you follow our channel and um, we'll talk to you all soon. Take care, bye-bye.